down for sound sound town which was you know that's great because it's like basically that's what rockville is right like i, I talked about that before where uh you know, like where where's the music at it's over in rockville you know something like that and then uh um hang on real quick all right so there we go this is the uh oops let me put this back Very nice. Look at that. This is the dual 2 ohm because they're wired in series, so that's 4 ohm. Uh, 30 hertz, basically 29 hertz, whatever. Super small VAS, 0.65. So that means you can put it in a 0.65 cubic foot box and it still plays to 30 hertz or 29 hertz. That's pretty awesome. So if you do a 0.65 or even a 0.75, just a hair larger, and then port it, and then make sure you account for the port, you know, the displacement of the port. Not really so much of the driver, but just the, the port. Um, this thing should fucking rock out. So it is uh, pretty big. It is a three inch coil, full size. Um, this is the Aries. Uh, I don't know about that 4,000 watt peak. It probably does. This is a good 1200 watt motor. It's basically the TC9. Uh, <clears throat> I like that it has a generic uh, non-badged uh, boot. Uh, Easy dust cap use this as the inner cap and then just put another cap on the outside for rebadging. There's no uh, custom molding on the uh, gasket, which is fantastic. And then the only downside is that this is engraved. Uh, they probably did that with the stamp machine uh, into the tooling. But um, I think with a padded decal, um, you can cover that up. No problem. So this is uh, a Best Buy. This is a... Soundtown, somebody had sent this to me for review, um, and I just I'll review it for free. I don't give a shit. I think it's only like a hundred bucks. So this is a fantastic buy for a hundred dollars. Chances are they're going to be out because I'm sure somebody discovered this before I did. Uh, but again, here's the specs. So, and if you want to if you want to gift me something on uh, Amazon, that's fine. Uh, I, you know, my address is public. I don't give a shit. But uh, what this really looks like, and of course it's called Soundtown, which I think is a derivative of Rockville. This looks like the Rockville Punisher, is what it really does. Um, I don't know if that, that frame might be a little bit different. It looks, I don't know, it looks nice. It's, got, it's a textured black with clamps on the spider. Nice leads. I mean, this is an excellent woofer. You could easily sell this as an alternative to the Sunfire uh, from Bob Carver. This would be a great replacement for that. Um, and again, it's only $100 shipped. Um, I would retail it back at against um, shit. Yeah, I would retail it against the W7. So whatever the W7 is, this one is better. Better power handling, bigger voice coil, uh, and then you could even give it like a three-year warranty because you know you only got 100 bucks into it. So shit, sell it for. Uh, I would do like a 695, $695 retail. And then you go, well, you seem like a good guy. T tell you what, I'll give it to you for 500 bucks. Boom. You make a $400 profit. Um, and, uh, and well, and then if you're, you know, I don't want to say a real slime ball. I, I, I try to stop judging the, the retail guys. But if you, if you want, then you go, well, look, I, for another 100, I'll give you a three-year warranty instead of a one-year warranty. So, again, that's an option. Again, I don't, I, I'm done, I'm done trashing uh, predators. <laughs> Or at least that's what I say right now. But um, predators are going to be predators. So, But anyways, that's my review on the Soundtown. What is it? Let me show you what they got. Let's, let's look at the thing. Soundtown, you get 10% discount on your next order. Of course, that's because they don't want you to buy on Amazon because they have to pay fees. Um, as long as it, This is fine as long as there's free shipping. Or shipping is included. It's not really free. But it comes in D1 or T2. It's 1,000 watt RMS CEA rated, which is true. Um, double stacked 180 ounce, uh, two layer PC spider, ultra stiff and lightweight. Well, it's not actually ultra stiff. It's actually, it's not, and it's not super floppy. I was able to move it like two and a quarter, uh, peak to peak, which was really nice. Uh, so it probably has an, uh, a wind height of a, probably about 35 to 40, uh, millimeter. And, uh, let's see, X max 23 millimeter. Yeah. One way. And then it gives you all the dimensions. There it is. So, uh, and then it gives you blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Let's see how close it is to the parameters. Pretty damn close. 31, it actually showed up as, uh, see, that, see, look at that BL. That's what I was talking about. See, 
BLN series, where does that, where'd it go? There it is. BLN series, almost 20. BLN parallel, 10, chopped in half. It's because your wind, wind count chopped in half. So, not that I'm saying wind in series, but if you want maximum performance, it's funny how, uh, especially SPL guys, you know, wire down to, you know, fucking quarter of an ohm or whatever, when actually you'll get more f motor force if you wire in series and just use higher voltage amps. Again, just saying, but anyways, I love you guys. Talk to you later.